Hey guys, Jason here with the One Stop How To Guys, bringing you episode 19 of Practical Drupal Development. This is going to be a short and quick episode, and we are going to be installing the Colorbox module. Now, this is going to be another its extension onto the images that are on our website. So, the first thing that we need to do is we need to download the Colorbox module. No, nothing special here. Just go ahead and download the latest version of Colorbox. And then the other thing that you are going to need is the Colorbox jQuery plugin. Now, this I will include a link to as well, and I think there is a link somewhere here on the Colorbox page, but you will need this as well. So, download the Colorbox module itself and extract it into Sites, All, and Modules, and then download the Colorbox box plugin and we are going to extract the color box plugin and you'll see that it's called color box master let's open that up and then there's another color box master folder inside of that and then there's all of the color box files now we need to back up one directory here so we don't want to be in this outer one we want to be in this inner color box uh, master and we need to rename this folder this folder needs to be renamed to color box and then simply drag this into Sites All and Libraries. So this is going to be a third-party jQuery plugin, so it's going to go into the Libraries folder. So once you have that done, just head on over to your site and turn the module on. I've already done all that, so we are ready to go. So if we click on our About page here, or any of our other pages, you can see that when we click on this image, nothing happens. It's kind of small. It really doesn't show us a nice, large image of what is going on here. Now the same thing happens to us when we get inside here and we land on a news item. Nothing can be seen. And then on our services page, we also have nothing happening on any of these images. So they're just kind of stagnant. They don't really do anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this color box plugin to allow us to click on this image and have that image blow up so that we can see it in a nice color box. Now, all we have to do to do that is come up to Structure, Content Types. We're going to start with the About. We're going to go to Manage Display. And now, under this format, we have another option here for Color Box. We're going to let it do its thing. And you can see here that the image style information has changed, so we need to click the gear icon. Now, the first select box here in the drop down here is for the uh, image style that will be applied to the image when it's on the page. So this one we want to set to basic image because we don't want to change the dimensions of it on the page. We still want it to be the size that it was. Now the second one is an optional image uh, style for when it pops up in the color box. Now, you may want to just use the, you may be tempted to just use the original image and think, well, we'll just have it blow up and be the original image size. But if your image is huge, and we're talking like 2,000 pixels wide by 2,000 pixels high, that could be kind of long to load a file that's that large. So we're going to set up an image style specifically for color box here in just a minute after we see what this does. Um, so we'll update this. We'll save it. Close it down and let Drupal refresh. And it looks like nothing has changed, but now there is a link on your image. And when you click that link, your image pops up in this nice color box. And you can see we have the caption being the page title here. That was also another option that we had to adjust in the manage displays. So if we come over here, content types about manage display. When we click the gear icon here, you can see that we have the option to enter in some of this stuff for the caption that pops up in the color box. So if you want to use the title field so that it, it's not just a page title down there, but maybe it's a it's a little extra information about that specific in, uh, image that you added to that, you can use that field as well. I'm just going to leave it as automatic and close this back down. So let's go to 
Let's go up here and set up this image style real quick so that we don't have to go back through and adjust this on all the content types. Go to uh, configuration media image styles. We're going to add an image style and this is going to be our color box specific image style. And all we're going to do is limit this image from allowing it to blow up beyond 1000 pixels. So we're just going to add a scale to it. And we're going to set the width just to 1000. Now we're not going to allow the upscaling because we don't want every image blown up to 1000. All we want is to have images that are over 1000 pixels be brought down proportionately to 1000 pixels. So that's all we really needed to do there. And uh, that's just to keep the website from having a harder, longer time loading. So we're just going to head back over to our about and we're going to manage the display here and edit the color box settings and for the color box image we're just going to use our color box there. Now this other option here <clears throat> is for the color box to cycle through the images that are on the page. You can do it per post, per page, um, or just by the individual item. So if you have an, an image field with multiple images in it, or if you have multiple image fields on your page. So maybe you have this main image here and then you have a gallery down here. Well, maybe you don't want them to have to click here, then close down this color box, click here, and then let them cycle through all the images by clicking right or left or the arrows that appear in the color box. And you'll see that in a minute. Um, maybe you just want them to cycle through all of the images on the page. You can set that up in there as well. So that one's done. Let's come up to structure content types. Um, let's hit the articles next. <coughs> We're going to switch this image over to color box as well. So we're going to do basic image, color box, and update. So that one's done now. Now I wanted to show you something that happens here. Just because we set the image style for the node to be color box, that didn't affect this one here because this one's being uh, messed with via views. So when we click this one, it's still going to do what we told it to do and link to the content. But then when we click this one, we're going to get the color box version of that. So now services, we have to do this one a little differently because we're not actually using the content type here. So it, we could go to manage displays on the services and it really wouldn't do anything. It wouldn't affect this at all. What we need to do is we need to edit the view and we need to edit the image here in this view. And we need to change the formatter here from image to color box. And now we can use our basic image we are going to use our color box image. And instead of per post gallery, because this won't let us cycle through these images, let's switch this to per page gallery so that we'll create an image gallery of all of the images on this page. So let's apply that. Now, mind you, if you try to click this here to test out the color box, it will not work. It'll actually take you over to its initial page. Um, It'll just open up one of these new tabs with the image up here in the corner. That's eh, not really what we want to do, and you could frustrate yourself if you didn't save your information. So just don't click on them there, because it won't work. So, now, again, doesn't look like it's changed, but we have our color box. And now you can see that we have these little arrows here, and what this is doing is simply cycling through and the only thing changing here is the fine wine friendly service the image is changing it's just we use the same image for all of these so um it is changing you can see we're going to two and that is the per page you can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move back and forth between these so that's it guys that's how you set up the color box module it is that easy to use you just got to make sure you get the module the plugin and that you change your formatter field to color box from image. It's really that easy. So that's going to conclude this episode. So if you like this episode, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you in the next episode of One Stop How-To Guys Practical Drupal Development.